All right, here come video for section 5.4. We're talking in section 5.4 about standard form, and then we're also going to talk about vertical and horizontal lines. I have a feeling it's going to take us two videos to do this. So let's see where we end up. We're going to start with standard form. When we look at standard form, we're looking at AX plus BY is equal to C, where A, B, and C are integers, which for us just means that they are not fractions, and A is positive. B and C are allowed to be positive or negative. So no fractions, and A must be positive. So let's talk about the most basic of basic problems. Well, actually, I missed a note here. I want to make sure that you have this, that order matters. It has to be AX plus BY equal to C. So, changing to standard form. Notice that this problem number one is in slope-intercept form. Y equals MX plus B, slope-intercept form. My directions say, ooh, back to that, what we talked about in class, right? Standard form. So I have to change it. To do that, the first thing I need to do is get the proper order, which means the X's need to go over back with the Y's. So send them over. Remember, if that means if they're crossing the balance line, we have to use opposites. So we will subtract 3X, and we will subtract 3X which leaves us with, those are not like terms, so it's a negative 3x plus y is equal to 0 plus 2, which is 2. Now, we're almost there. We have proper order where a, b, and c are integers, so no fractions, but our a value, the number in front of x, is not positive. So we need to take care of that. To do that, we need to multiply every term in this problem by negative 1, or multiply the left by negative 1 and multiply the right by negative 1. So positive 3x negative y equals negative 2. Now we have standard form. Let's do number two together. Remember, first step is always order. So we will add one half x so we have one half x it's positive y so plus y equals zero minus four is negative four. So we have our proper order. We do not have integers. A, the number in front of x, is one half. That is not, that is definitely a fraction. So to get rid of fractions, we multiply, in this case, by the common denominator, which we are lucky in this problem, there's only one fraction. So my common denominator is two. So I multiply everything by two. So 1 half x times 2 would give me 1x. 1 1y times 2 gives me 2y. And negative 4 times 2 gives me negative 8. My a value is positive, so I didn't need to take care of that. I didn't have to multiply by a negative as well. And one of the things that I'm going to do is write down two quick notes about the things that I said. Um, so if you want to, uh, I'm going to make them go pretty fast, so I'm not going to talk. So when you're doing these problems, you can, in fact, put both of these together if you needed to. So if you needed to change the A value and you needed to get rid of denominators, you could. All right, the second type of problem that we're going to see are ones where we aren't just asked to change into standard form, 
but we're actually asked to write the equation in standard form. And we're going to be given two points, just like we had been given before. So when we look at these problems, we need to work all the way through everything that we've done so far. So, let's put a, a list of steps together. There are four steps to these problems. The first step, find the slope. Second step, find the y-intercept. This might be a good place for you to remind yourself that when you find y-intercept, you can use either slope-intercept form or point-slope form. So you can use either slope-intercept or you can use point slope. Step three is to make sure that you write in slope intercept form. And step four is to change to standard form. I think these first three steps are pretty easy and things that you're familiar with. So I'm going to go ahead and show my work, although I'm not going to talk all the way through it. Okay, so we really just started this problem off with exactly what we've been doing for the past few days. We used our two points, we found the slope, we plugged it in, we found our y-intercept, and now our problem is written in slope-intercept form. The last step is to change to standard form. So I'm going to take my y equals negative 3x plus 4. I need to move my x term to the left hand side. And my standard form, I have proper order, I need to double check. No fractions, a is positive, this is my answer. You have one down below here to try. When I do my problem, instead of using point slope form, I'm going to use slope intercept form, just to make sure you see you can do both versions, and so that you have a note with both versions in it. I'm also going to choose the second point so that it doesn't, so that it's more obvious where I plugged in x and where I plugged in y. So give that second problem a try, and then come back and check your work.
Remember, always when you get to the bottom and when the directions say standard form, double check, no fractions, A is positive. I am going to go ahead and put the second video up instead of just, instead of doing just one, I'm going to put the horizontal and vertical lines in a second video.